Hello guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. As you guys know, it's James here from Technical Effects. This is Technical Insights episode 41. And in this episode, we're gonna be breaking down four markets midweek. So it's a little bit of a shorter video than the normal ones. But in this video, we're also gonna be taking a look at the winner of our giveaway from the weekend, who won one month free members area access and also a trading journal, which I designed to help me every single day forecasting out the markets. So let's quickly flick over and take a look. The winner of the competition is Richard Monroe. Now, Richard, I am going to send you, I will leave a reply here for you to get in contact with me by my email. Um, why is this the winner? Well, it's the fact that Richard took so much detail from the video and also broke it down in this comment. So read this comment and really understand because Richard was doing the exact things that I said in the video, realized it, adapted and moved on. Okay, so this is why um, Richard is the winner because he really, really dug into that video and it was a great video because of it kills so many of the traders out there so many traders because social media is so big these days and this really does kill so many great traders because they're influenced it's natural but you need to get away from it and even if you unsubscribe from our youtube videos or whether you unfollow me on instagram if it helps you please do it honestly if it helps you please do it if you still love the value stay with us okay so this is why uh, Richard, now guys, thank you all so much for entering, okay? I really did go through all of your uh, comments. There were so many of them, okay? Hundreds and hundreds of comments, and um, I went through them all, and there were some very kind words. You guys are really, really big fans of the channel, and do give us a like. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Um, but for now, you are the winner, Richard. So thank you very much. And now we're going to take a dive into some charts. As I said, it's going to be a bit of a shorter video than the normal videos. And I apologize that it's coming out a little bit late. Um, I just finished a nice live session with our students and members as well. So uh, they do come first, I'm afraid. So taking a look here at the dollar index, uh, what we've seen happen this week, we've had one, two, three. Over the last week, we've not seen a great amount of movement, okay? Friday was actually very nice movement. Allowed me to catch a nice GU short, GB pound USD short. Um, but over the last one, two, three days, we've not really seen too much movement. We did push into the highs of this previous candle looking left. But today, we've come back to the downside where we're now just sitting at the area of some structure here on the four-hour time frame. So let's bring us into that four-hour time frame. And let's zoom out where here we can see that we're sitting at this previous area of structure point. So we had a lower high down here where the market ranged. We then pushed for the higher high. We then came back in for the higher low, bullish engulfing here, taking us in for a new higher high. And we've now come back down into this region. Where could we go from here? Well, previous four hour candle closed, showing us some indecision. Indecision highlights battle between the, bull, the buyers and the sellers, and we could take a push to the upside from here. If we lead on from here with a bullish candle close, this gives us the, uh, the potential for further continuation into these highs at 12080. A break of these highs, 121, break a 121, and we could end up with some nice bullish movement to the upside into possibly even 122 further to the upside there in the dollar. However, if we do break this area here to the downside and we break below the 4 hour 50 EMA, I'm going to be looking for a possible move back into 120. But the dollar is not really the cleanest at the moment. It could get a bit cleaner. And that's what I would like to see. Again, back here, this is this was beautiful trending movement. Okay, really really nice trending movement. We bottomed out down here. I don't care which way we see a trend. Who cares? I just want to see a trend. That's all. I'm not asking for much. Come on. Little trend. Okay. So I'm waiting to see whether we're going to get any dollar strength or weakness off of this area of uh, previous structure point right here. 
Now taking us into Euro USD. Now you can see here, these are my forecasts from the live session that we just had. So it's pretty, pretty uh, easy to guess what I'm actually looking for in this market. But again, if we just go into the daily time frame, okay, we saw this lovely rally to the upside. We've then seen one, two, three spikes into 1.19 bearish engulfing, giving us that evening star formation, rolling us over to the downside. We've then seen this morning star formation currently form, but as we go into the lower time frames, we are bouncing off of the area of 1.18 and the area of 1.17. All I want to do is see it clear. I just want to see it break out. That's all I want to see. Come on, you break out. Come on, dollar, break out, show us some movement. So I'm even looking for the market here to break out to the upside. Or the downside. Again, we don't care. Okay. So we're showing these rejections from resistance. We're showing these rejections from support. Can we break out? And what else shows us that this market is unclear at the minute? The EMA. 50 EMA is sideways. When the 50 EMA is sideways, it means that we are unclear and we are not trending. <coughs> I do apologize, guys. I don't normally do this. Quick sip of water. Keep me going. It's quite hot here in the UK. Now going into pound USD, and again, we're not the cleanest and clearest markets. The daily time frame, however, is showing us that bit of indecision at this area at the minute. Bit of indecision following on from yesterday's large shooting star. Shooting star to the downside did lead us back into the area of 1.3. Um, however, the market at the moment is just in this bit of a range-bound area here where you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, sixth candle still in the region at the moment. Now, you can see this here, guys. Again, this isn't the trend line, but if you wanted to place a trend line, it would look something like this. And we were looking for a breakout of this area. Now, we've seen one rejection, two rejection, three rejection, four rejection, five rejection. We're now looking for either a break below that 1.3 area or a break above this lower high point to see either a push to the upside. Break above this area of 1.31200, and we're back into the area of 1.32. Break of 1.3, and we're looking for 1.28 potential to the downside. Now then, into the last market of this Technical Insights, episode 41. Do apologize, I nearly said update video or overview video, which is what I do for the members. Um, so just taking a look here then, guys, we can see 76,500 rejection, rejection, rejection. We're back at this area now at the moment. We need to see either a break or a rejection from this point. Okay, so we're looking for the market to either show a break higher or a rejection from this point, breakout of the structure to the downside. Now, today's upside move was signaled by yesterday's daily candle, where we can see we had one, two, three, giving us that upside potential with the morning star formation. Know your candlesticks. Okay. Following on from that, what did we see happen in the market? Well, we've seen the market then break to the upside, come back into this higher, sorry, back into this lower high point for the higher low, lower high into a higher low, showed the rejection, also the 50 EMA, bullish engulfing, rejected off of there nicely into the upside of 76,500. Now I'm looking for this to possibly either reject from here or continue to the upside from here. So we would be looking for the market to show a higher high, followed by a higher low, and then the continuation. However, if the market tumbles all the way to the downside, breaks through that higher low, what do we have if we break through a higher low? We end up with a lower low in the market. This as well here, guys, would be moved. Then we look for the lower high. Then we look for the continuation to the downside with a potential move back down in 75. Okay, so we're at that key area of resistance, 76,500. How are we going to react? And that is what I'm currently watching for. At the moment on the daily time frame, we are closing strongly bullish. But can we just continue with that tomorrow? That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so dollar, come on, give us some clean movement. Euro USD, break out of that range. And GU, break out of that range. AJ, you're sitting at 76,500. Are you going to break above that area or are you going to reject from that area? That is what I'm looking for as we go into tomorrow Thursday, I believe it's Thursday the 13th. Yeah, Thursday the 13th of August tomorrow as we go into there. And guys, well done again to Richard Monroe. Give him some love in the comments, guys. You never know. I may pick one of you for another journal, so give him some love. Richard Monroe in the comments. Get the comments going and also smash the like button. I know it's quite late, but a video is better than no video. Okay, 
and um, got some exciting things coming very very soon and this isn't just a little teaser this isn't no clickbait I don't do clickbait check the titles of the videos don't do clickbait um, got something great coming soon we've had a delivery okay exciting delivery and uh, there's gonna be some great 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 content coming to YouTube very very soon okay so um, looking forward to that so guys yeah don't forget like subscribe share it with your friends let's go that is episode 41 of technical insights